Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the ads made me do it first of all. Welcome back to the BBG. This is Sin of Alice, Sino Alice. I'm not really sure how you want to say it. All I know is I've been watching a lot of those ad boxes from Immortal Towers lately. I need to turn down this background music. Hang on. That is way too loud. Alright. Now... I literally seen the ads for this game so many times I decided to just be like, you know what, I'm going to actually try this and see if it's any good. Now, this is a pretty different game, I have to say. It's less about your main character, although that being said, I've only, I literally only been playing for one tick over. I don't know much about the game. This is really just a tiny little overview, I guess. It's your standard gacha summoning game instead of summoning characters usually, you're summoning weapons. Which is a cool little feature, as each character is using different weapons, they have different effects, different elements. I'm just going to jump into a story mode, because it's best just to show you how this works, because the story is pretty unique. It's a very dark game, I have to say. Um, ooh, I did a thing. Yep, so I, I am Cinderella. Don't judge me. Chapter 2. This is just going to be a little bit of an example. I don't want to... It's not going to be a long video. Just purely wanted to see what the hype was about this game. Because I've just got the ads pushed in my face for it. Uh, do I have the character for this? Oh, well. Alright, I'm using my strongest one. Every シンデレラは言葉の刃を投げかける。いつもの通り、少女は鳥籠の中の首に話しかける。一方的な言葉、噛み合わない会話、相手を傷つけて楽しむ。卑劣を歌う灰かぶり。けれど彼女は珍しく
the CPU player characters join in so that your combat ability doesn't matter at all. Don't get me wrong, I can see how it um, scales up and you become the only damage dealer because it's all random people that you get put with. And I haven't even unlocked the Colosseum yet, which is the PvP thing, but you have to die first in a level to do that, and I have not. But again, this is really just a little basic overview. You can limit break your weapons, limit break your classes. It's all sort of generic in that way. I'm going to spend some Twilight Crystals on here because there's an event for Nia Automata. So I, I am just going to real quick do that, see what I can get. Because I have many crystals, because I was doing all the quests just to grind for it, experience the game kind of thing. And I passed quite a few levels at this point. As much as most games are the same thing over and over again, this is the same in that regard. And I don't dislike this game, not at all. It has a very unique art style. It's got a very unique way that it talks to its own players of the game, especially when you first download it or when you reach a milestone in the storyline. There's a lot of fourth wall breaks. The storyline's pretty cool and they are constantly improving this game. It's just too much for me in that regard because you need to micromanage leveling up your armor, your sub gear, your actual gear, your super rare weapons. You need to limit break them, level them up, grind for the items for XP for your characters, grind for class experience, grind for weapon experience, <laughs> grind for armor experience. It's a lot of grinding and you would have to be very, very active in this game. And as everyone knows, I'm more of a idle game like for mobile myself I, I do like a good action game i did play age of wushu for quite a bit until you know my server there was dead i might actually give that a go again on a less dead server and see where i get because that was a fun game there was just no one to play with on the oceanic servers where where i'm based <laughs> but yeah let's just spend some twilight crystals real quick Whatever. Give it to me. Oh. Three cool things. Okay. What? Did they just give me an extra? <laughs> They know I'm recording! Oh shit. Uh. Okay. That was cool. We got an S. Fair enough. S weapons aren't so bad, I have to say. But you do need at least S weapons leveled up a bit to get anywhere in this game. Super rare weapons, ideally. If you have a couple of characters, you do want a couple of different super rares because I'm pretty sure Colosseum is a team of your characters with their main weapon as a sort of thing. So I don't know, haven't got far enough in this game, but it's I don't really want to personally. Well. <laughs> It's really standard. I get all the A weapons, I choose an SR or an S weapon, I level it up a bit to make my characters respectively stronger because they use more than one weapon during story missions. You equip multiple weapons on them, like have a look here, I go into gear, edit the gear set. You see they, she's got multiple weapons, her specialty is blades there but she can use pretty much everything. So she does more damage with blade, which is why she's got a super rare blade. They don't monopolize the weapons. They share them throughout your characters because you can only have one character active at the same time. So you can always have a, your strongest possible point amongst all your characters. But yeah, I, I won't even get into the nightmare thing where they're like extra summons you can do in battle and they give you various buffs for your team. Oh, thank you, I guess. 
so many rewards for things. <laughs> you would have to sit down and truly learn this game. I can see people who would absolutely love this game. It has its own charm. It's got its own unique art style. It's very, very cool. The gameplay is not my cup of tea, unfortunately, but it was worth downloading just to appreciate the art style, to be completely honest with you. Even the storyline, I only did one storyline, but it was so dark and gritty that I was just made, I just wanted to keep playing it just to see what they'd say next. So I, it has done quite well in that regard, but this is honestly just my opinion of a game that Immortal Towers keeps pushing on me. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's really it. I definitely recommend giving it a go for sure, because sometimes you never know what kind of game you'll like till you start playing it. And I will check the, let's have a look at the level of pay to win that we have going on here. It's not too obvious from the seams of it. Like, not too obvious at all. Like, there's no big button that says buy me. That's a good thing. That's actually really nice. I actually have to search to try and spend money on this game. That's the mark of a actually decent game. So obviously these twilight crystals in the top left there, they're the premium currency. Is this this shop? Is this... Ah, here we go. Purchase twilight crystal. Yeah, okay. That's very out of the way. That's nice. And of course it's standard $100 plus with everything. Once you've used up your beginning Twilight Crystals, you're going to be on the grind for more. Let me tell you, you only get one to three like, per completed level. So take advantage if you played this game of those starter crystals. Wait for a good event and spam them all there. But that's enough out of me. I don't know enough about this game to keep rambling on about it. Subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Leave me a like, leave me a comment. Let me know if you do actually download this game and try it out. I'd be interested to hear other people's opinions. I don't hate it, but it is definitely not a game that I would play long term. But it could be one that I jump on every now and then. But if you want to be truly good at this game, you'd have to sit down for hours and learn everything about it because you can restore this AP stuff quite quickly and continue playing it actively because that's exactly what they want. They want you to keep playing it, like every mobile game does. But yes, as always, enjoy your day.